Hey there guys, Zach here from Inbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10108. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10047. Also as of recording this, this is an unleaked build so this is sort of a first look I guess at the new changes. And let's be fair there aren't a lot of changes in this build. Uh, so diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes in this build are in the PC settings app. So if we launch settings, as you can see here, it's now the same color. The whole UI is now the same color as the title bar and the buttons on the home page of the settings app are now centered in the middle. If we full screen, you can see that in a better detail there. Uh, furthermore, if we go into an area with uh, pill switches, as I like to call them, they are no longer pill switches, although they're still shaped like a pill. Uh, the circle in them is now a lot smaller. I have no idea why they've updated that, but they have, and they are also now filled with the, the colour of your theme. Uh, not sure if I really like these. Um, I preferred the other ones, I think, but there you go. They have been changed, and that's now what they look like. That is a system-wide change, so any app that has pill switches will now have those new ones. If you open the start menu, notice the 3D flip tile which was found in build 10,074. It's now a lot smoother, as seen there. So it's not as sharp, it's a lot more nice, I guess. And I definitely prefer the new smoothness of them. Now, if we go into the All Apps area, you'll see here that the 3D Builder app, which is a Windows 8.1 app, is now available in this build. Uh, oh, sorry, it's built into this build, actually. I have no idea why, and I don't think it's going to be a permanent change, but since this is a WinMain underscore PRS build, uh, I think this was just for Microsoft's close partners um, to mess about with, I guess. No, who knows why it's here. I, I definitely don't think it's going to stay, but it, it is built into this build for some unknown reason. Now, another change in this build, which isn't really a change but is a change, is that the right-click context menu is now using the same one found on the taskbar. Now, this was a change in build 10,888 and in the early 10, uh, 9,000 builds. But it's been on and off, so it's now back on, but we cannot guarantee its <laughs> permanent stay. So, it's here in this build, and uh, it may not be in the next, so keep that in mind. Now if we come down to the, the network icon here, you can see that the network area is now dark. Which uh, is just more areas of the operating system turning to this dark side. Uh, topical, barely. Got 25 minutes, 35 minutes left of the day, but may the fourth be with you. And uh, yeah, so I think that's really about it for this build. Not a lot of changes, unfortunately, but since uh, build was just done, they are now just like relaxing, I guess. Uh, no, more features, I guess, will be at Well, we are coming to the end of the Windows 10 development cycle, so you can't really be expecting a lot of new breaking changes anymore. You just got to expect the little things. It's the little things that count now. So there you have it, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one.